ein Rosensprung aus seiner Zeit. Wie uns die alten Sungen von Jesus kam die Art. Und hat ein Blümchen ein Bracht mitten im kalten Winter, wo zu der halben Nacht das Rösslein, das ich meine, davon Hello 
there, my mostly self-isolated friends, and happy holidays! I know, I love the holidays too. Welcome to The High Note, our monthly live stream featuring updates, interviews, and more from Opera Orlando. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, got a great crowd today. I'm your host, Gabriel Pricer, broadcasting live from the Opera Orlando offices. And I don't know about you, but it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas! Oh, wow, oh gosh, got some of my... That's snow, that's Florida snow for you, also known as paper cut up in small pieces. I'll have to clean that up later. We have some special surprises in store for you all today, but first off, and most importantly, after a wonderful Thanksgiving week and one of our most successful Giving Tuesdays ever, I need to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you to our wonderful staff here at Opera Orlando, all of our team members. Thanks to our wonderful production team members, singers, musicians, designers, all of our artists. And of course, many thanks to all of you out there, especially this season. Gosh, we really could not be here without your tremendous support. So thank you. Cannot say that enough. Now, are you ready for the big news? Drum roll. Some of you may know that we had a $10,000 matching challenge for Giving Tuesday. That's right, Giving Tuesday, just this last December 1st. Now, Phil and Diane Corral and Kathy Cressy put forward this $10,000 matching challenge, and you all met it. A huge thank you to them, first and foremost, but wow, I cannot believe it. We met and surpassed our goal, bringing in a total of $11,521. Can you believe it? Like I said, big thanks to all of you out there. That is our most successful Giving Tuesday, the most we've ever raised on Giving Tuesday in the history of our organization, so thank you. And it really could not come at a more critical time as we prepare for our largest production yet, D. Flatermouse at the Walt Disney Theater at Dr. Phillips Center. Crazy to think that we are only two weeks away from opening night. I better learn my music. Tickets are on sale and given it is reduced capacity, only 33% capacity, with the audience spread out, socially distanced, you'll want to walk, you'll want to act fast and get your tickets if you haven't already done so. I, we have a little video to show you all the precautions that Dr. Phillips Center has put in place. And I have to take my hat off. I need a Santa hat. I'm gonna, if I had a Santa hat, I would take it off at this moment. I want to take my hat off to them. They've done a wonderful job installing uh, ultraviolet lighting, um, the right type of filters, touch-free systems. Well, I'll let the video speak for itself. Here we go. We're so excited to welcome you back for shows at the Dr. Phillips Center and wanted to share some steps we're taking to ensure a safe, healthy environment starting with thoroughly training our team on new protocols. We're using hospital-grade disinfectant multiple times a day throughout the building. Cleaning high-touch areas with extra care. Requiring face coverings at all times. And practicing social distancing. We're also running an advanced air management system that brings in fresh air from outside and sanitizes all air with UV light, reducing theater capacity and leaving space between groups, encouraging contactless payments at the bar, offering touchless hand sanitizer stations, and much more. For all the details and the latest updates, head to our website. We'll see you soon. Isn't that amazing? All the steps they're taking. You know, my favorite part, I know you were wondering, what my favorite part is you get to see the audience all spread out. You have an entire row in front of you that's empty, a row behind you that is empty, two to three seats, well, no, sorry, three to four seats on either side of you that are also empty. Really, plenty of room. So if you're going out, you know, you're going to the grocery store these days, maybe, going back to some restaurants, really, going to Dr. Phillips Center, Walt Disney Theater, Plenty of room. It's just as safe as going to the grocery store or going out to the restaurants. Remember, 2,700 seats. We can only have 33% capacity. I'll let those math whizzes figure all that out. Now, I know that some of you might not be able to join us, and I, we totally understand that. We'll miss you. We'll miss having you in person. But never fear. We will be broadcasting Deep Later Mouse online starting December 31st, New Year's Eve, of course, as is the tradition with Deep Later Mouse. You can buy a three-week access pass for you and your household for only $25. 
What a deal. I know. It's better than Netflix. Well, I don't know. Netflix is pretty good. I think it's better than Disney+. Plus. I don't know. It really is going to be a beautiful production. As some of you know, I'm sure you might remember, the chorus, they've actually already pre-recorded their parts, right? It's in the can, as they say in the film industry. And we have some behind-the-scenes images just to give you a sneak peek of how that all came together. Ah, there you go. You can see them all dressed up in their tuxes and their fancy gowns with some wonderful wigs. A big shout out to our costume designer, Allison Reed, with her wardrobe assistant, Caitlin Durant, and our hair and makeup designer, Dawn Rivard, with her hair and makeup assistants, Gina Makarov and Natalie Garcia. But isn't that fun? The chorus has already been pre-recorded, both the audio and the video, and they'll be projected above the stage. Gosh. It's going to be an amazing production. You have to check it out, either in person or at home. Our principal artists will be arriving this weekend, and that's when the real fun begins. Stage rehearsals, then orchestra rehearsals, and then, of course, Tech Week as we move into Dr. Phillips Center. When we arrive there, we'll be joined by our good friends from the Orlando Philharmonic, of course, 42 musicians spread out on the stage playing those beautiful Strauss waltzes. We'll also be sharing the space with the Orlando Ballet. Gosh, it's like the local arts groups are taking over uh, Dr. Phillips Center. Orlando Ballet is presenting the Nutcracker. They open tomorrow night and they're there for three weekends. So we will be sharing the space with them at Walt Disney Theater. Tell you what, you could go check out the Nutcracker, see how safe it is, and then stay for the opera. Now there's an idea. I mean, Flatermouse, Nutcracker, if that doesn't get you in the holiday spirit, I don't know what will. Okay, well, maybe this next video might. Right. Would you guys help me out with this one? We all know what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need this. Hit it, David. Decorations of rain 
<laughs> Those guys are a handful. They look kind of familiar. I think I might know some of them. We really do have a great holiday season ahead of us, and Off Orlando has already been very busy. You might have seen us at Hollerbox Restaurant in Sanford. Great German food out there. We showed up, sang some German tunes, some Fledermaus tunes, of course, even some Hansel and Gretel. Had a lovely time out there. Wonderful people. And they're coming to Fledermaus, so we'll see them at the show. And then, of course, we were over at Fusion Fest Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, they're at the front yard venue now that the Dr. Phillips Center has. That was a lot of fun. We were joined by a wonderful artist, Patrick Nose. Patrick, originally from Haiti, is creating an original piece for our production of Carmen this season. And what a talent. He created a piece live during our performance at Fusion Fest. It was spectacular. Next, we went over to What's Up Downtown at the Lake Eola Bandshell Amphitheater right there. Had a great time. Our youth company singers came, members of our chorus. It really got us into the holiday spirit. And this evening, this afternoon evening, we will be at Barnes & Noble over in Altamont Springs doing a book fair. Do you remember book fairs? Those were the days, those book fairs. So if you make a purchase through Barnes & Noble, whether it's online or in person, let me stress, online purchases count as well. Indicate Opera Land, we have a little code there you can use. More details on our social media on our Facebook page. But funds will actually come to Opera Lando through this book fair. What a wonderful partnership with Barnes & Noble. Maybe you're buying some uh, books as Christmas presents. I know we're all going to buy The Secret River this year, right? That's a great Christmas present to give to the family, the opera that we will be commissioning and premiering in 2021. So we've been keeping busy around the town, as are our artistic partners. The Orlando Philharmonic, they have an upcoming concert, Holidays at the Plaza, December 7th, 14th, and 20th at 7 p.m. Outdoors at Plaza Live. Experience the spirit of the holidays with the sounds of the Orlando Phil. Three music-filled evenings providing a fun, safe, and festive environment to get you into the holiday mood. More information at theorlandophil.org. Also, the Orlando Ballet, they open the Nutcracker tomorrow night. Who's going? Who's going? I think I'm, I have to go. I love Nutcrackers. And we got to see what it looks like there. Walt Disney Theater. See everybody spread out. So go to the ballet and then stay for the opera. Also coming up at Up Orlando, we have our next episode of Representation Matters, featuring Orlando's own Marcia Hope Goodwin. Oh my gosh, this one's really going to be dynamite, folks. Make sure you tune in on December 13th at 2 p.m. Well, we have made it to the end of our show. It's short and sweet today. I know you all got a lot of holiday shopping to get to, but I just want to take a moment and really wish you all a happy holiday season. It's been an interesting and rough year for sure in 2020 and i hope we can all find time to enjoy our loved ones enjoy our family enjoy the spirit of the holidays despite all the difficulties we have had we miss seeing you guys i have felt your support through these programs through the high note through our online concerts i hope to see many of you at the plater mouse or that you enjoy it online we can feel your love even though we are socially distanced and we thank you for it we miss you we love you Happy holidays. To send us off officially, how about my favorite Christmas song, Oh Holy Night, with those three baritones again. A big shout out to my friends Nathan Stark, Brian James Meyer for joining me on the program today with all the beautiful Christmas music. So sit back and relax and enjoy Oh Holy Night.
Thank you for joining us today and join us again on January 8th for the next episode of The High Note for a special company update. Stay safe, hang in there, and see you online at the Opera. Sorge, Leben, 
Oh, <laughs> 